Hello, everybody. This is Helena Hart, and I'm here with my very good friend and fellow coach, Adrian Everhart, for the first live stream ever on my YouTube channel. I can't believe it. Welcome, Adrian. <laughs> Hi, Helena. I'm so happy to be with you for a live stream. We normally record our videos, so it's so great to be here. This is going to be so much fun. For those of you who aren't familiar with Adrian, I'm sure you already know Adrian, right? She has an amazing channel here on YouTube. She's a feminine energy dating and relationship coach, and she's also the author of 500 Ways to Talk to a Man. We've also done some programs together. You can check out the description of this video at any time if you'd like to go check those out. And today we're talking about something really important. We're going to be sharing seven secrets that get a man to pursue you for a serious, committed relationship. These are some things that he just can't resist. We're going to be talking about feminine softness that drives men wild, one of our favorite topics. And Adrian is the perfect person to bring on and talk about this. She's a total Aww. expert and genius, <laughs> as I'm sure a lot of you already know. So Adrian, let's get started. Is there anything you want to say before jumping in or should we just start with these seven secrets? Well, I'm so excited. I'm just really ready to go. I'm honored to be on your channel. It's such a great privilege to just share this knowledge with women. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everyone who's in this live stream and showing up today. I really encourage you take notes throughout this video mm -hmm. because this is not a video where we're just going to tell you some things that you have heard many times before. We're not only going to tell you what these feminine softness, this feminine energy secrets are, but how you can implement them into your life right now, today, whatever your situation. So be sure you just take some notes and stick around. Yes, absolutely. Adrian, I'm so excited. What's the first one you have to share? Well, the first thing I want to share with everyone is just how men and women do commitment and relationships so differently. Mm -hmm. So I just want to kind of start there because that still seems to be a little confusion about that with masculine and feminine energy. So remember, masculine energy is naturally pursuing feminine energy. But if a girl is in her masculine energy, she actually ends up pursuing the man, which kind of pushes him away. And we can do this in a lot of different ways. We're going to discuss them in the tips. But the first thing I want to talk about is that women tend to go all in pretty quick. We meet a man, we go on a few dates, and we're already realizing this is the guy of our dreams. We just go all in, we get over invested mm -hmm. pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. I have spoken to my clients who have gone on and on about guys that they haven't even met yet. They haven't even gone on a date with them yet. So I just keep, want everyone to keep over investment in the back of their minds. This is one of the things that just kicks you off. It is the wrong start off into your feminine energy is finding yourself over invested because a man really likes to pursue a woman. He's not as emotional in the beginning. He wants to initiate the conversation. There's a little bit of him wanting to kind of chase you and pursue you on a very innate level. And we're not talking about like doing anything like ignoring him and things like this, mm -hmm. you know, you want to be there, you want to be active, but just remember men and women, the whole thing behind feminine and masculine energy is just naturally, we are very different energies. And for this strong attraction to be there for him to want to chase you and just him be wild about you, there has to be that polarity between the masculine and feminine energy. Absolutely. So I just wanted to cover that first to get everybody on board with what we're talking yeah. about with feminine energy. I'm so glad you brought that up. If you're familiar with our videos, mine and Adrian's as well on YouTube, you know, we're all about feminine energy, leaning back, not chasing a man. Of course, you want to respond and show interest and be warm and soft and open. We'll be talking about that in some of these other secrets, but very important that you're not pushing your energy out towards a man constantly. Mm. We've all been there, right? So you can feel yeah. the difference when you're just constantly <laughs> trying to do stuff. Like <laughs> I'm going to text him this because this is going to get some kind of response. I'm hoping you can feel it when you have an agenda, when you're leaning forward and trying to make something happen constantly with a man. So I'm just looking at the chat as you were talking. Sounds like everyone is really resonating with this topic. So I'm uh, super excited great. to hear the rest of these secrets. Great. Is there anything else you want to say about that one? No, I'm ready to jump right in with number one. So I have a very popular ebook called 500 Ways to Talk to a Man. 
One of the reasons this ebook is so popular is because I discuss things like texting, communication, how we communicate nowadays. You do have some interpersonal, you know, face-to-face -face communication, but so much of our communication takes place over texting and sometimes even email. And I want to share with you feminine softness via texting. <laughs> how does this work? So I'm going to give you a few quick ones on that. There's a lot more in my book, but the first one is when a man says, hi, what's up? Or how's it going? He's really asking, how's your day? He's really mm -hmm. asking, what are you feeling inside your body? They'll never say that to you, but there's an interest in you that they're wanting to escape into that feminine energy world with you. So one of the greatest things you can do is go ahead and have prepared what am I feeling today? What did I feel today that felt wonderful? Because mm -hmm. we don't want to share with someone our pain story right out of the gate. We want to share something soft and wonderful. Like I took a walk at, you know, my lunch break and the breeze was just blowing through my hair and it felt so nice and cool outside or whatever it may be. You're giving him an experience. You're feeling inside your body. Okay, you're sharing a feeling. Number two, you wanna keep it short, just as short as you can. You don't wanna overshare. It never fails. My clients send me you know, their blocks of text or they're over at I Heart Love Academy, my Facebook group, and they're writing these massive blocks of text and the guy is just writing back these, you know, mm -hmm. one or two sentences, oh, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I always tell everyone, cut it in half, cut it in half, cut it in half again. And you just really want to learn how to communicate with less words because men get flooded. They get emotionally flooded with too much information, too much words. Whereas I have probably already said a thousand words at this point and you're with every one of them, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. We women can just talk endlessly and jump from topic to topic. I believe yeah. we talked about this in our last video on how to make a man think about you nonstop. I think you even gave an example from your husband, Jeff, who will say like, wait, what are we talking about again? <laughs> Men get flooded yeah. when we're just almost like vomiting all our words and we can all <laughs> tend to do this, right? So I love yeah. that tip. Cut it in half, yeah. cut it in half again. Amazing. Keep, keep, keep on cutting. Yeah. Now here's the big one. Recently, I made a, a little meme about this and it went just crazy on my website. And that was, you sometimes need to just let the text sit there. Mm -hmm. You need it to let it sit there. So I'm always talking about the sperm and the egg in relation to masculine and feminine energy. The egg does just sit there and the sperm finds its way. Ultimately, the egg chooses the sperm. But even with a text, this is a, you know, a great way to segue into that. A man might send you a, a text that says something like, well, that sounds really good. It should be a lot of fun. Okay. There's no question. There's mm -hmm. nothing he's asking you per se. Just let it sit there. Let him have that last word and allow that space to be there for the man to pursue. These are all feminine ways to text, communicate with the man you like. I'm trying not to laugh over here because we've all been there. It can be so hard. That was the hardest thing for me personally, just letting it sit there, not trying to like keep the conversation going and grasp, even if you can feel that he's, you know, maybe going to sleep or getting busy with something, letting it sit there, not as a game or some sort of strategy. Like I'm just gonna you know, let him sweat it out, but you don't have to constantly be throwing your energy back. If he didn't ask you a question, I love that. Let him have the last word that can do wonders. Yeah. Amazing. Do you have any tips yeah. for women who have a hard time? I know for myself, especially in my past, this was probably the hardest one for me. Any tips on what to do, maybe taking your focus off of that phone and that guy or anything like that? Uh, turn your phone off <laughs> as much as you can. Turn your phone off, put your phone down, say what you need to say, read someone's response, tap your heart, send them love and go about your wonderful, amazing, fabulous feminine energy life, you know, and just get all of that interest and focus over investment off that man. How do we end up so over invested in guys? It's up here. We're thinking mm -hmm. and thinking mm -hmm. and planning and planning and calling our girlfriends and da, 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 lots of conversation and thoughts about the guy. That's how we actually get over invested is that we're thinking about that person too much. 
So get back into your life. I don't want to skip ahead because that's kind of one of the points. But Oh, awesome. Um, okay, what do we have next for us? I'm so excited for the rest of these secrets. I'm loving <laughs> these first ones already. Well, you know, remember feminine softness is something that you have authentically inside of you. Even men, to some degree, they have a feminine energy of softness to them. The problem is that women somewhere in our growing up, we begin to shut that soft part down and become very hard, become very intellectual, very logical in order to survive or get reward. Most people's families do not reward them for being emotional. You know, even in medical field, I've heard that people often don't know how to respond when someone's being really emotional. It's just something that a lot of us, you think we would be wired to deal with it, but we're not. And I don't know if it's been a cultural thing that's happened throughout the years. I'm sure there's many debates about that, but what happens is we lose touch with our feelings and therefore we lose touch with our truth and your truth and your feelings and what you want and what you don't want and what you like and dislike boundaries is also known as vulnerability and vulnerability is the most honest work you'll ever do in feminine energy you cannot let this one slip past you and pretend that you're not feeling or noticing or observing what's really happening to you now a lot of you might go okay i can pick out a lot of things wrong with my guy or a lot of things wrong with this situation and i can share that with him is that really vulnerability well not really because that's about him and mm -hmm. vulnerability is about you. You have to learn how to tap into that feminine softness and speak from a place that this is what I'm experiencing in my body. You know, this is what I'm feeling instead of like, you know, you're making me feel crazy when you don't call me or whatever it may be. You can just say, you know, I'm feeling really lonely. I'm feeling really isolated. Or I'm feeling a little scared about our relationship right now. That's about you and it's a vulnerability. It's what you want. It's what you're feeling. And here's the kicker. You have to do it knowing you can be rejected for it. The person that you're with may reject you mm. when you're vulnerable, but that's part of it. That's part of it. That's the honest, honest part of feminine energy work is do you want to be with someone who's going to reject you because you're honest about how you feel? You know, vulnerability is a very, very powerful commitment maker and bond maker with a man. It's very powerful. It's so true. If you have a hard time with vulnerability, we mm -hmm. talk so much about this in our dating unzip collection, everheartcoaching.com slash unzipped. I believe it's in find and keep the one without coming undone, a program yes. we did together. Also heartbroken to happily ever after. We're bundling both of those together right now at a special mm -hmm. sale price. The link is in the description. Also Adrian's ebook is in there. We talk so much about how to do that because it can be hard. Like you said, we've been conditioned to not feel. I was watching one of your videos the other day, Adrian. I don't think I told you this. And you told this amazing story about when you were a child and I think you kind of fell down and skinned your knee and you got rewarded for not crying, for holding back tears. And your parents yeah. said, wow, you're so brave, right? And so these things like that, I can, uh, I almost started crying when I watched that because I have countless yeah. stories like that. We get rewarded for suppressing what we're actually feeling. And then we bring that into our adulthood, the way we relate to men or really all people. Mm -hmm. So it can be really, really tough. But if you have a hard time with that, I would recommend checking out our programs because we give you step by steps in how to do that in a way that doesn't like shock your system and activate all right. your defenses. Right. 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 Yeah. Because it is deeper work. It is advanced work. And that's why we created that program is we had so many women who needed this advanced work. So you can study at home. It comes with a full VIP level library. You can take your time and go over this material. You know, there's only so much we can give you in YouTube videos. You know, we're a little limited on time, mm -hmm. but that's why we created these two programs. One of them definitely goes very deep into vulnerability. In fact, it was what we focused the whole program about. It's a big Absolutely. One. What's the next secret? So the next one is really fun. This is where you get to have fun with your inner girl. And remember your inner girl's inside of you. My inner girl was inside of me when I fell down at the zoo and she's still with me now, you know, years later, she doesn't go away. It's just about reconnecting with her and getting back in touch with her. And so this is an exercise that I really love to practice with my husband. And so daily allow him to fall in love with you. Now, mm -hmm. 
to each of you, that may mean something different. But I'm guessing when I say daily, allow him to fall in love with you, something kind of comes to you, some feeling or some essence or some quality, some attribute you have kind of will naturally surface. And for me, the answer I usually get when I want, you know, daily, I'm falling in love daily. We're keeping this connection going. We're working on it. Remember, a relationship is something that you must work on every day. Even Helena and I, we have all of these wonderful tools. We have to work at it. We have to mm -hmm. practice. We mm -hmm. still have to do this every day. And so daily, let him fall in love with you to me means listening to my partner, you know, being open, being available for him, asking open-ended questions, not directing him, not solving problems for him. So for everyone is kind of individual, what you feel, what you sense inside of you that your partner is going to need to just daily fall in love with you, feel that love every day, have that as a mantra. I love that. Again, we can probably do a whole nother video just on each one of these secrets. And just for the sake of time, you ready to move on to the next one? Or is there anything else I'm, you wanted to say I'm on that one? I'm all set. The next one is the pursuer distancer model. This is yes. something that we talk about. And remember the distancer, there's a distancer and a pursuer. And basically a man usually ends up being the distancer. And the more we pursue him, we get into this like sense of urgency and we have these urges like, I need to call him now. I need to fix this right now. Like this is happening mm -hmm. and it feels very, very urgent. And Helena, mm -hmm. I know you're a pro at diagnosing and turning around urgent urgency because you taught me, yeah. you taught me about it. Let's not forget that. But the, <laughs> more that <laughs> the more that you're urgent, a lot of people don't know Helena was my coach mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. So the more that you're in that state of urgency and like anxiety, you're going to pursue your guy. And then the more he's going to feel like I need more time alone. You need to give me some space. I need some time to think because the heat is on. The heat is on him. Him. And so, you know, Google pursuer distancer, this model was created years ago by a wonderful psychologist and Dr. John Gottman has done a lot of work on it. So just pursue that, be aware of these behaviors, what you're doing, and just see how they apply to feminine energy and masculine energy. Mm -hmm. See if you see those qualities in yourself because soft feminine energy doesn't really have to do anything to get love, attention, cuddles, texts, phone calls, proposals, flowers, <laughs> anything like this. Like you really don't have to do anything when you are an invitation to the man. So and true. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of laughing over here again because you say I'm great at diagnosing urgency. I yes, you recognize are. it because I was the most urgent person. I can still get into that. I'm impatient. I want things to happen right now. So I really found when your masculine energy is going unemployed or unutilized in your own life, it can be easy to turn it on to a man or all the men who are showing up by trying to constantly make something happen, tracking the connection very closely. Oh my gosh, he didn't text back for three hours. Anytime you're feeling urgent, that's a big clue. What is your masculine energy doing? Where is it not being utilized in your own life and kind of getting all used up? So then when a man shows up, you can be in your feminine energy. You can be displaying that softness and warmth that we're talking about during this live stream. So there's a little tip. If you start to feel your masculine energy go urgent, it's typically running you by fear. And the solution is getting that masculine energy, doing something meaningful in yourself, in your own life. You don't want to squash it down. You want to get it working, get it in gear for yourself. So you're yeah. creating that space to be in your soft feminine energy when you're with a man. Oh. So important. Oh, I love it. And mm -hmm. that brings me right to the next tip here, which is mystery. You have to have this mystery about you. And I'm not saying like go create some mystery, some fake mystery around you. You want it to be authentic, real mystery because my husband doesn't often know what I'm up to. You know, I have a lot of little hobbies. I have a lot of little things I like to do. Sometimes I'll just decide to go take a yoga class in the park or go for a quick bike ride or something. And this keeps that mystery alive, you know, and you want to have this rich, full, juicy life because it is actually biologically necessary for a man to miss you, uh -huh. to have that attraction. He has to have time away from you to miss you. 
And if you're always there, you're always available, it won't happen. It's so just, true. It, and it's not that he's a bad guy. This is biology that does this. It's not his fault. Yeah, absolutely. I love what you said. I think mystery combined with the safety, this creating safety that you're that safe space for a man to come towards not another obligation or just something that he wants to pull away from when he gets stressed combined with this mystery it's kind of like safety yeah. and thrills familiarity and a little unfamiliarity that combination is like the most addictive powerful thing in the world right, <laughs> right. <laughs> and that is um, what makes him crazy about you exactly yes, so yes thrill yes. safety and thrills you heard it from helena so. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly Exactly. And I can maybe feel a little bit like that's a lot to keep in mind. We have to be warm and we have to be mysterious. But this becomes like second nature where you're just naturally lean back. You're naturally not focused on a man. And then when he shows up, you can just be warm and open because you're not pissed off because your focus wasn't on him so intently. Like, where was he? What took him yeah. so long? You're just like, it's a nice surprise when he does show up. Very attractive energy, very wow. magnetic place to come from. Right, Adrian? Yeah, yeah. And it does become more natural. Like you have said many times, it's a muscle that we have to keep working and flexing. And it takes a long time to rediscover your inner girl. It takes a while to discover this inner softness. But when you even watch a video like this or take one of our programs and you get that focus and that study into this, you will begin to see change very, very quickly. Just having this in your mindset, just having it in your energy, you'll start to see change very quickly with the man. Totally. I love this. And it sounds like this is resonating with everyone. The minute you truly authentically take your focus off of a man, that's when he calls. That's when you get a text from him. It feels like magic, but it's not. There's an energetic kind of pathway between the two of you. And if it's full of all this resistance, because you don't have your own stuff going on in your own life and you're all focused on him, he can feel that. And so when you take your focus off of him and have a little mystery, all these things Adrian's talking about, it really energetically creates that space. I know you guys have all experienced that, right? So awesome, Adrian, love all these tips. What's the next thing you have to share? Okay, so the next one is that niceness does not win love. So mm. I thought, you know, when I first started discovering feminine energy, I was like, I need to be nice. I need mm. to be feminine. And it's really nothing like out of a Jane Austen novel or what we might perceive of, you know, 18th century English literature. Niceness does not win a man's attention and affection. Your vulnerability does. Being real, being honest. It's not that you want to always keep him guessing, but you're not out to win a popularity contest. You're not coming from a place of desperation. You're not being nice to be a doormat, you see. And so niceness is something that you can be naturally. You can be naturally positive. You can focus definitely on what's positive and what's good and what's working. But this on purpose, nice, you're giving to get, you're doing something to be nice, you're cooking him dinner, you're spending money you don't have on clothes or makeup or something like this in order to win his affection. So that sort of niceness gets you nowhere, gets yeah. you nowhere. In fact, he can, again, smell it miles away that you just become fluffy to him. You're not real, you're not authentic. And if you're not real and you're not authentic, he can't trust you, he can't fully commit to you. Love that. that. Yeah, we're getting some great comments and questions about that. Somebody asked, how can you be warm when you're mad at him? And that is exactly what That's Adrian's talking one. about. Yeah, perfect mm -hmm. question for this. And there's a lot just like this. Yeah, it's not about being sweet and understanding. If something he's doing doesn't feel good, then there's something to talk about there. And it's not about just accepting whatever he does and he can come and go as he pleases and you're just going to be warm and open. It's not about that. It's about being authentic to yourself. So if you feel triggered, if you're feeling angry, having the confidence to say that, like something about this just doesn't feel good. Is there something I should know? If a man is stepping over your boundaries, you don't want to just accept him back in without having a conversation about it. So it's really important. It's not about being sweet and understanding when he's not mm -hmm. acting right. Right, Adrian? Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. And how can you be warm? Well, warmth and niceness are, for me are two different things. You know, nice is who I am by default. Warmth is something I have to practice a little bit, but warmth is just this warm, inviting energy. Come to me as you are. 
I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to pop off on you and begin to discipline you or rage on you or lecture you. I'm warm. I'm open. I'm here for you. Again, ladies, walk away with this. Be an invitation to the man. Be an invitation for his love to come towards you. So yeah. true. So true. Did that answer your question? I know there's a lot of people asking what's the line between soft and warm and nice. So hopefully that answered it to me. That was crystal clear. That was awesome. So what number are we on? I'm getting lost in so all of these. So we're actually at the last one, which That's is right. really, it's something I touched on in the beginning and I wanted to save it for last just because we go all in. We go all in and we get all of our focus, like laser focused on this guy, laser focused on outcome, how it's supposed to be, how it's supposed to turn out. And all of that is masculine, masculine energy. It's wanting an outcome. It's doing things to create an outcome. It's saying things to manifest your own outcome. And I don't talk about law of attraction manifesting, but you know, you're being manipulative. You're going all in to get your way. And what happens when you go all in? You lose all the cards you're holding. Mm -hmm. You lose anything you're holding and you actually will lose your identity. You think that you're doing something good for your relationship by always being there and meeting him right at the door with a hug and a kiss and answering his text immediately and always being available and ready to go and having dinner cooked and whatever it may be. And you're all in, but you're really losing you. You know, you're losing you. And the great thing about feminine energy and that softness that a man craves is that it isn't predictable. It isn't predictable, but it is warm. It is inviting. It feels comfortable. Ladies, all day long, the man is out there in a world where he is working. He's competing with other men for muscles, money, who's got the fastest car. We're not really in that world. We're in a much more emotional world. And so when he comes home to you, he doesn't want to be with his boss or his manager. Now, I just saw questions come up. It says, but what if you enjoy cooking? If you enjoy mm -hmm. cooking, cook for you. You're yeah. cooking for you to make you happy. If the man happens to also enjoy it, great. Just make sure he's buying some of those ingredients once in a while. <laughs> I can feel the energy of going all in. Who hasn't been there? This is, I'm putting all my eggs in this basket. I don't feel like I'm going to be okay. If the man makes some decision, I might be devastated. It's the job of your own masculine energy, in my opinion, to not get yourself to this place where your self-esteem and your mood and your emotional state is hinging on what a man is doing or not doing. So important, yeah. right? That's oh like what gosh. really creates the safety for your feminine energy to like be yeah. there and breathe and express herself. She has to feel safe. And it's the job of your own masculine energy to create that safety for her by sticking to your boundaries, not putting yourself in situations where deep down, you know, you're going to get hurt. So, so mm -hmm. important. Yeah. Love mm -hmm. that one, Adrienne. Yeah. Good Absolutely. One. I think we've said everything. I hope everybody made notes. And remember, girls, if you want to go deeper with Helena and myself, it's at everheartcoaching.com slash unzipped. It's two different classes. You also get a library full of documents that Helena and I both created just to supplement your learning and really go deeper with this process. Don't hide it from yourself. Learn more. I always tell everybody, don't try to duct tape it together on the internet. Whoever you decide to take a class or course with, just keep learning more. That's how we do this. I continue to read and read and read and read everything I can to help me mm -hmm. keep my energy more centered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me too. Anything else you want to say, Adrian, before we close out? Well, thank you everybody again for being part of our life and showing up. And we love to know that we're doing a good job. So please give this video thumbs up. You know, when you give a video thumbs up, it helps other people find this video. Make sure you subscribe to Helena if you're not already subscribed and subscribe to my channel too. We love you guys. We love, love you guys. helping you. Yeah. We're able to take what we went through. You know, Helena and I both went through some really tough times. Mm -hmm. We both had physical problems. We share that in the unzipped collection. I mean, I was going on dates with a black eye that I had for nine months from surgery, you know, and Helena had some physical problems as well. So I yeah. just want everybody to know it's not all wine and roses. We had big trouble that you can all relate to. <laughs> And the, oh, yeah. the fun thing is, is that, yeah. you know, we overcame these obstacles. We were able to learn a different way of speaking and being 
so that we not only affected our relationships with men and with everybody, but we felt better. We both suffered with anxieties and different things. And that's the wonderful thing about feminine energy is that you are so in touch with who you are and you're not rejecting yourself. You know, in order for a man to love all parts of you, you must love all parts of you. And that's what we teach you how to do. So thank you all for joining us. Thank you so much. Bye, Helena. Bye, everybody.